Welcome to a tutorial on how to convert Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. In the first example, we're asked to convert the Cartesian coordinates negative 3 comma negative 2 to polar coordinates where r is greater than 0 and theta is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2 pi. Let's first plot this point in the coordinate plane. So notice that negative 3 comma negative 2 is in the third quadrant. In polar coordinates, r is the distance from the pole to the point, which would be this distance here. Theta would be the angle from the positive x-axis rotated counterclockwise to this segment. If we want theta to be in this interval, this would be the angle theta. Notice how the reference angle for this angle would be this acute angle here. Now let's take a look at our notes below. To convert x comma y to r comma theta, we'll first determine r by using the formula r equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, which is just the Pythagorean theorem solved for r. This is the principal square root because we want r to be positive. And then we'll determine theta by first determining the reference angle a. Where the reference angle a is equal to the arctangent of the absolute value of y divided by x, and therefore, if the point is in quadrant one, theta equals a. If the point is in quadrant two, theta equals pi minus a. If the point is in quadrant three, like ours, theta equals pi plus a. If the point is in quadrant four, theta is equal to two pi minus a. The reason these formulas can be helpful is because, remember the output for the arctangent function is only on the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two in radians which means if we want theta to be in this interval, the only time arctangent of y divided by x would give us our angle theta is when we're in the first quadrant. So we need the reference angle to find the correct angle in the correct quadrant. So looking at our first example, again, we're given the point negative three comma negative two. So we know x equals negative three, y equals negative two. In polar coordinates, the first coordinate is r, the second coordinate is theta. So now let's go ahead and find r. So r equals the square root of the quantity x squared plus y squared, which in this case equals the square root of the square of negative three plus the square of negative two, which equals the square root of nine plus four is 13. So r equals the square root of 13. Now let's determine the angle theta. Remember, theta is going to be in the third quadrant, and therefore it's going to be pi plus a, where a is the reference angle, given by arctangent of the absolute value of y divided by x. So pi is half a rotation, and then we add a the reference angle to determine our angle theta. So we'll have pi plus arctangent of the absolute value of y divided by x, which would be the absolute value of negative two divided by negative three, and therefore theta is equal to pi plus arctangent two thirds. So this is the exact value of theta. But let's also get our decimal approximation. So theta is approximately, now we'll go to the calculator. We wanna make sure we're in radian mode, so let's press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted here in the fourth row. If it wasn't, we would arrow down, highlight radian and press enter. Let's go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And then we'll type in pi, which is second, the exponent key, plus arctangent two thirds, or inverse tangent two thirds, which is second tangent two divided by three, close parenthesis, and enter. So theta is approximately 3.7296 radians. So the polar coordinates would be square root 13, comma, 3.7296. Let's look at another example. We're gonna convert the Cartesian coordinates three comma negative two to polar coordinates, again, under the same conditions. Let's plot the point. Positive three comma negative two would be here in the fourth quadrant. So R is going to be this distance here. And then theta, again, if it's in this interval, would be the angle from the positive x-axis rotated counterclockwise to this segment. So this is r, and this is theta. And notice how this acute angle here would be a, 
the reference angle. So again, we're given 3, comma, negative 2. So x is 3, y is negative 2. We want to find the polar coordinates, which would be in the form r, comma, theta. We should recognize r is going to be the same. r is equal to the square root of positive 3 squared plus the square of negative 2, which is still square root of 13. And now to find angle theta, again, we're in the fourth quadrant. So we're going to use the formula 2 pi minus a, where a is the reference angle, equal to arctangent of the absolute value of y divided by x. Again, this should make sense because 2 pi would be one full revolution, and then minus the reference angle a would give us angle theta. So we'll have 2 pi minus arctangent of the absolute value of y divided by x, which would be the absolute value of negative 2 divided by 3, which means theta equals 2 pi minus arctangent 2 thirds. So now we'll go back to the calculator. This would be the exact angle, but we'll get a decimal approximation on the calculator. So 2 second exponent key for the pi minus second tangent for arctangent, 2 divided by 3, close parenthesis, and enter. That is approximately 5.6952 radians. So the polar coordinates are square root 13, comma, 5.6952. So we just looked at two examples where one point was in the third quadrant and one was in the fourth quadrant. Remember, if it's in the first quadrant, theta equals a. If it's in the second quadrant, theta equals pi minus a. The last thing I want to mention is if a point falls on one of the axes, we should plot the point and analyze the graph to determine r and theta. I hope you found this helpful.